This is Flutterby. She's a 70-foot traditional stern narrowboat built in 2002 by JNN Steelcraft. She has sold. Uh, when I was putting together the photographs and the video, a couple came to see another boat and preferred this one. So she has sold, but I'm putting it on for two reasons. Firstly, people like looking at boats, and secondly, I need to show that we're selling boats at Rugby Boats. So she has sold, but it's worth having a look at her anyway. She was last blacked in March 2020. She had a survey carried out at the same time. She had six new anodes put on her in 2020. She would had a repaint in 2020. She's in absolute first-class condition, inside and out. Beautiful sign writing there. There's 400 watts of solar power on the roof. They were new last year. There's a couple of side hatches on board. And there is so much space in this boat. I know you'd expect that from 70 feet, but you'll get a feeling of space as we go through. And the front deck on this is amazing. It's sort of tug-like, really. I know you like your dogs. I haven't got Bumble with me today, but here's, I can't remember the names, Elsie and somebody else. Two gas bottles in that front locker. And look at the size of the well deck. It's huge. Amazing social space for our fresco dining. Water tank is integral. That's under the, the deck here. Now, there's LED lights all the way under the gunnels out here. And that ro roll of lights is for the Christmas tree at Christmas time. And there are under gunnel lights all the way down the inside of the boat. Fabulous area out here. I had a couple of armchairs out here this morning. So when we go, I haven't done any measurements yet, but the kitchen's the first room you come into. It's huge. I'm guessing at 12, 13 feet. There's a side hatch in here. You can see the undergunnel lighting there down the right-hand side of the screen. Pulley out cupboardy thingy. Plenty of storage in this boat, generally, really, but lots in the kitchen. Bank of four drawers. There's a drop-in full burner gas hob oven and grill, and a sink with cupboard under it, and a 12-volt shoreline fridge with an ice box. All the lighting's LED on the boat, by the way. Mm. Very good space in here. I'm guessing at the head height about six foot four. Let's have a spin round. There we go. That's the galley. The next is this L shape couch there is a dining table that goes there it turns into a double bed massive this area i don't know where the saloon actually stops because you can see further down there's another huge sofa there's the stove a solid fuel stove more so squirrel and this is a super comfy sofa opposite the wall mounted television that is a very good size single bed so the boat sleeps five I think if you include both sort of sofas or couches, it's probably 20 feet in here. Another side hatch opposite the sofa. And into the bathroom. It's a walk-through bathroom. Blue lights in the shower. It's a quadrant style. There's the washing machine. That's a Beko 6 Kilo ceramic sink countertop. All very stylish. Beautifully done, this boat. There's a porta potty, and there's diesel fired central heating on board. It's Wabasto. That does the hot water along with the immersion heater or the engine. Nice Houdini hatch in here. Good sized bedroom as well. All the rooms on this boat are pretty generous. Storage under the steps and the lockers either side. Out onto the stern deck. Engines in here, it's an Isuzu 38, PRM 150 gearbox. Batteries are in there. There's an inverter on board, 3.5 kilowatt, a deco. 
the washing machine actually does run off that if you do a cool wash at 30 degrees. Sort of half wardrobes either side of the steps here. Quite a useful little cabin at the back here, very neatly organised electrics. And some taff seats on the back. Absolutely fabulous boat. Another walk back through. She's got all the necessary navigation equipment on board to just set off and go. She's got an anchor and chain as well. I think I mentioned 400 watts of solar. The batteries were, there were 410 amp hours for the domestics and one for the starter. They were brand new in March 2020 actually. So there we go. Really lovely boat. I know it's sold but it might give you some ideas if you're looking for a boat or having one designed. And that's Flutterby. There's a gallery of photos and this video on the website and the price www.rugbyboats.co.uk